Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a iPhone 10R or XR or iPhone XS or 10S and you're trying to connect your phone, your iPhone to your Windows computer or your Windows uh, PC and you're getting this error message here from iTunes iTunes could not connect to this iPhone. An unknown error occurred and this number here, I'm gonna show you guys how to fix that right now and 100% of you guys should be up and running, okay? So there's basically three things that you can do, okay? Now this first way, 80% of you guys are gonna be up and running, okay? Now I don't know why it doesn't work on the iPhone XR, the iPhone XS. Any other prior iPhone that I pop into this Windows PC, it works fine. Anyway, this first way here is gonna help 80% of you guys right now. First thing I want you to do is go into your File Explorer, okay? So right hand corner, go ahead and right click and then go up to File Explorer right here. Click on that and it's a simple folder that we need to delete, okay? So from here what you wanna do is you wanna to go to your C drive, so C drive here, double click my C drive and then I wanna look for a program data. Hey, guess what, it's not in here. That's because it's hidden. So simply go ahead and click on view and then go to hidden items. Tap on hidden items. As soon as I do that, now where is that? Now here is the program data. Right here, program data. Double tap on that. And now from here we got to go to the first folder here called Apple. Double tap on Apple. And this is the, the folder that we need to um, delete. If I open this folder up, it's just a bunch of text files in here, okay? So let me go back here. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and right click and then we're gonna delete this. Go ahead and delete this. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and try to plug my phone back in. And let me go ahead and okay this area here. So let me go ahead and pull this out. And now I'm gonna go ahead and plug it back in. And we'll see what happens here. Okay, perfect. I still get the error, no problem. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and reboot my entire computer. So let me close everything out. And then let me go ahead and restart my computer. Restart. And let me go ahead and unplug this as well. Okay, so I'm logged in now. Now let me go ahead and pop this in. And I should get a message on my phone. It says to trust this computer. I'm gonna go ahead and trust it. Now this is gonna work for like 80% of you guys right here. Let me go ahead and um, put my passcode in here. And it says, do you want to allow this computer? I'm gonna click on continue. Okay, perfect, I still got the error. Now the reason why I got this error on here is probably because I need to do the two other steps. But most of you guys are gonna be up and running. So the second thing to do is to make sure that the iTunes is updated. So let me go ahead and update my iTunes. And I know this iTunes is out of date as well. So I have iTunes open here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on help and I'm gonna go down to check for updates, tap on that. And oh yeah, okay, a newer version of uh, iTunes is available. Do you wanna download it? Yes, I'm gonna go ahead and download it. Let's give this a little while to download. Okay, so from here, let me tap on this icon down here and this is uh, checked right here, updates. I'm gonna go ahead and click on install one item. Click on yes. And let this bad boy run for a little while. All right, so it's done here. It says to finish installing the software, you need to restart your computer. Click on yes to restart now. I'm gonna go ahead and click on yes. Let this bad boy boot back up again. Okay, so I just logged in. I had my um, plug plugged in here the whole entire time. Anyways, I pulled it back out and now I'm gonna plug it back in here and we're gonna see what happens here. Give it a second here. And I should get that message on my phone here. And okay, iTunes, okay, so right here it says, uh, trust this computer, trust it. Put in my passcode here. And it says right here, iTunes cannot connect. Let me try again. Wow. I think we're in business, guys. All right, so I am in. Well, there you guys go. We are in business now. Now the thing is, if this still doesn't work, another thing that you can try to do is go ahead and uninstall iTunes and then reinstall because it's possible with the update. Some files could have been corrupted as well. Anyways, give that a try. If you guys do all three of those ways, I'm gonna say like 100% of you guys is gonna be up and running. One more thing to note is that I don't typically use iTunes to transfer my photos and videos. 
what I do is actually go into the File Explorer uh, folder here. So if I tap on down here, and now see before this wasn't showing up. If I scroll down here, you can see right here it says Virgil's iPhone. Okay, before this folder didn't show up. Now I can go ahead and double tap on here, go to uh, DCIM folder, and now I can go in here and see all my photos and videos. Anyways, I hope that helped you guys out. Thanks for watching. And comment below which one helped you, uh, basically deleting the lockdown folder or actually updating or uninstalling and reinstalling so everybody else knows. All right, thanks for watching, guys. See ya.